Hello everyone, it's Kay. How's it going today? So this is the 28th of November 2020 on Saturday and this is a recorded video. This is not the live stream because every Saturdays I record a video and upload as a topics like psychology or money management strategies. So today I would like to talk about uh, which one is more important, strategy or risk management or money management because this is actually one of the most frequent asked questions by emails and comments and also I get this question from uh, Global Training School members also. Um, so how to follow the strategy, how to follow uh, the risk management and how to deal with the mental management. This is very important so I will talk about it today. So if you're new to my channel, my name is K, like a little K, my name is K and I am a full-time forex trader here in Japan, Tokyo. So in this YouTube channel, I talk about different topics every day and today is about the risk management and psychological management. So just a quick disclaimer, this information is basically based on my understanding and knowledge and experience. So when you take trades, please do with your own risk. So when I talk about or when I think about the strategy, risk management and mental management, I always think about the taxi driver. So let me tell you, let me share with you how I think about these. So actually these are all equally important. When you think about a driver, uh, when you hop onto the, on the taxi, let's say you come to Japan, you never been to Japan, you come to Japan first time and you catch a taxi and you ask him uh, where to go, the destination. So taxi driver will take you there in the best way to get there. So taxi driver is very important because he's the one who actually uh, takes you to the destination. He knows the map and he knows where to go, how to go, which road to take. So you just sit back and relax and enjoy the view and then you will be taken to that destination. So that's the driver's job. So the um, driver is also very important first of all. And also passenger. You're the passenger, it is also important. I mean, uh, you're the passenger. So you know the destination, you know where to go. And you know um, how, how long uh, you, you want the taxi driver to take to get there. Maybe you're in a rush, you might want to get to the destination in about like 10 minutes and you tell taxi driver and he will get there. So uh, you know the purpose of going there and you know where to go, the destination. So passenger is important and also the speed is equally important because you know um, Japan of course is uh, not the, you know, it's regulated the speed in every place it's regulated the speed, so the speed is also important. So now that you think about hopping onto taxi driver and the taxi and you tell the driver where to go, um, you can have a sense of the idea which one is the money management, which one is the mental management and which one is the strategy. So please imagine which one is which. So let me get this another text. So driver to me is a strategy. So strategy. Yeah, so driver is to me is a strategy because um, he knows which road to take, he knows where to do, what to do, and um, where exactly to go. So um, in terms of that, for example, when you when you try in the forex pairs or stock markets indexes or commodities or cryptocurrencies, uh, whatever markets you take to take trades, um, you know the strategy, you have the strategy and you take buy or sell. So that's the driver's job and that's a strategy job in that sense. So you have a decent strategy, you know how to capture trends if you are following my YouTube then you know how to capture trends by my strategy, Kumo and Kijunsen angles, in multiple time frames, and you can eventually get to the point where you to where you need to buy or sell by lower time frames in five or fifteen minute chart. And this is a strategy part. So strictly by following the strategy, you know what to do, 
and um, you know where to buy, where to sell, and you know which way the, you're taking trades. So in that sense, driver is a strategy in the taxi analogy. So what is the mind? The mind to me is the passenger. Because um, you sometimes passenger comes in to driver and say, instead of going straight, please turn right, please turn right, please stop there. You know, passengers sometimes uh, guides try to guide driver what to do, which is not really efficient because driver knows where to go, and exactly uh, which road to take. So, but it's a passenger who actually kicks in and interrupt this strategy. So you have already strategy, you know what to do to follow trends, to capture trends and what to do to buy or sell, exactly. It's a mind that tells you against the strategy. Okay, don't do that. Or sometimes the passenger or your mind encourages you to take trades or jump into the market without following the strategy. So in that sense, mind, mind or mindset is a passenger and which makes us to very difficult to follow our own strategy. So the job, of the job of the passenger is actually to be relaxed in the back seat and enjoy the view. If it's raining, just enjoy it. If there's a mountain, you enjoy it. If there's a lake on the right side, you enjoy it too. Right? So and then the dry taxi driver will get you there. So there is there is nothing that you have to tell taxi driver where to go because he knows exactly which road to take in a most efficient way. So that's the passenger, and it's a challenge actually uh, for us to to relax and enjoy um, how the strategy is gonna take. So sometimes you see the market goes up along the way, but shoots downwards when you buy. And you might struggle, you might wonder, okay, maybe should I exit or should I keep holding? But um, it's a mind that actually kicks in. So if you have a decent strategy, then just follow it. Whenever it's, it, there's a right timing, you exit. Whenever it, it goes towards the direction, you just keep following it without interrupting the strategy. Because that's a job for the passenger as a mind. So what's the risk? The risk is actually the speed here. So, hold on, I forgot to put this uh, text. So, passenger is a mind. M I N D to me. And also, the speed, in a sense, is the risk. So, you can kind of have a sense of the speed as a risk because if it goes too fast, then um, it's going to be dangerous. So, when you, when you hop in the taxi and when you see the narrow road, like this in the picture, then um, he will probably go like a 40 kilometers or 50 kilometers per hour speed. But he, if he goes like 200 kilometers, then that would be too fast, right? Uh, of course, uh, you can get to the destination uh, in a shorter, shorter time, but you have a risk of being accident. So you want to keep the speed as a decent speed to get there in a efficient way. And that's a risk to me. And that's why risk management is very important when you take trades. So I recommend you to take at least uh, only take 2% per, uh, per risk per trade. Sometimes uh, I ask you to take 1% risk per trade because um, this is important in the sense that uh, to manage your own risk. Because if you go too, fa too fast, if you go uh, you know, too much bigger lot sizing, then um, you will get lost card very easily and also you will blow account so easily which I used to do when I was a newbie I was I used to take trades in a huge lot sizing like I was taking risk like a 10% or 15% with a leverage of uh, you know high like a 200 300 leverage and I blew up account easily and afterwards I learned it from that experience and I studied about the risk management which is actually the part of my strategy. So, once again, the driver is a strategy. So first, you have to identify the driver. You have to look for the driver and you have to uh, build up your own strategy as a driver. And then once you do it, then you backtest. Backtest and you get used to 
the way the driver drives on the road. Uh, and also you have confidence. Okay, so this driver is trustable. He always takes me to get there to the destination. So you build the confidence by backtesting it. And then it, when you take tries in real account or demo account even, uh, your mind kicks in. And okay, maybe I used to, I have this strategy, but maybe this is the time to exit. You might think like that. Or uh, you might think, okay, let's just, just buy right now. This is against the stra strategy, but let's just, just buy because the market is going up. So you might think like that. The, but this is against the strategy. This is against the way how driver uh, drives on the road. So you have to follow the strategy without listening to your mind. You just, as a passenger, you just relax and enjoy in the back seat and enjoy the view out there. When it's snowing, enjoy it. When it's raining, enjoy it. When it's very nice weather, you enjoy also. So that's the passenger's job. And then you have to um, risk management. The risk management will be the speed. And actually, it's part of the strategy. So this taxi driver and the speed is actually connected. So I will just put like an equal like this. And as a risk driver, that will be uh, the speed. So if you along the way you build a strategy, you need to also build what risk kind of what kind of risk you wanna take per trade and what kind of lot sizing you have to go for. And you need to know the strategy of the stop loss break even, where exactly you move the stop loss to break even and then how to try the profit over time so that eventually this strategy, your strategy will get there to your destination in Forex or any markets. So thank you for listening until the end. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you liked it, please press a good button and make sure to subscribe and click the bell button so that you get notified as I do these lives every day. So I have, oh actually I have a um, playlist of uh, money management on my YouTube video which actually you can access on the playlist and if you scroll down a little bit there will be uh, risk management videos here. So I will put this link on in the end of this video so click, please click on this one, click, cl uh, please click on the playlist on the screen and enjoy other risk management uh, strategies which I think it, they are very important. So once again thank you for listening until the end and I hope you have a great great weekend. So until I see you next time, please stay healthy and stay gold. Bye for now. Matane. Thank you.